Hey guys, how you doing? Ron here with Tech Tips to Go. In today's video, I'm going to do something a little different from the crypto news and VTrain news, Bitcoin news, etc. So I'm going to be showing you guys how to back up your Shopify store. Um, I'm going through transition right now. I'm just moving over, getting off Shopify and just transitioning over to a WordPress site. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is come over to your Shopify store. Um, this is one of my sites. And in the left panel here, you want to go to themes. And I'm going to leave a link to Shopify's instructions on how to do it. And you can actually go to help.shopify.com. But I'm going to leave the link to the description below. And so it says go to your online store, go to themes, go to actions, and then download the theme. So what you want to do is come over here, go to themes, go to actions. And now what you want to do is you can either duplicate your theme or download theme files. So now what, what you can do, actions, download theme file. Now all of your emails or all of your files are going to be sent to over here. So now when you select your theme where it says download theme files, you're getting a message or a pop-up that's going to say download everything from clothing R90. Now I don't have a clothing store, I have more of a technology store, but it mentions your themes will be emailed to your email address and then just click send. Now theme file sent and I'm going to check my emails and I'll probably get a zip file so let's just wait for that. Okay. So I got my email confirmation from Shopify. Now what I'm going to do is there's a link over here. Now it says your theme export is ready to download. So I'm just going to download this. So over here you can see at the bottom of my screen. So I downloaded and I clicked on it and let's do show in finder. And as you can see, I've got my the file name right here that is exported. So now I'm just going to save this into my Dropbox folder. I'm going to copy this. Uh, move to Dropbox and that's it so now it's moved over to Dropbox and that is how you download your your files so that is how you can back up your store and the next thing you can do is just send it off to your developer that's what I'm doing right now I'm not a WordPress developer or website developer I just uh, own a bunch of businesses and one being a couple of e-commerce stores so now what you can do is just send that file over that theme file over to your developer have them convert it over to a WordPress site or a Magenta or Woo WooCommerce store. And that's it. And you're done. So, guys, if you like the video, please subscribe, like, and comment below.